Well, thanks for watching this special edition of Politics Now, covering the Republican caucus today. We're your local election headquarters. Let's get right to tonight's results. Donald Trump with 43% of the vote, Marco Rubio 24%, Ted Cruz 22% of the vote, and Ben Carson had 5%, and John Kasich 3% of the vote from just, the GOP. Uh, right, just a quarter of the precincts uh, in so far in that counting. Moments ago, Donald Trump declared victory, and he's being projected now, of course, as the winner by major news organizations. Patrick Walker is outside the TI, where Donald Trump just gave a speech. Patrick. Well, Paul and Dave, Donald Trump tonight, also, although he was very gracious in thanking a lot of his friends and family, also sending a bit of, mes of a message tonight with his victory speech. Uh, you know, with each of his early state victories, he's getting that share, that larger and larger share of the delegate counts. And Trump uh, firing a few shots regarding that subtly at his opponents in his short speech tonight. He said on Super Tuesday he'll do well in Ohio. That's over the governor there, John Kasich. He said he's also looking good in Texas, obviously alluding to a head-to-head -head with Ted Cruz in that state. He then told supporters other candidates dropping out only makes him stronger. Listen. So tonight we had 45, 46 percent. And tomorrow you'll be hearing, you know, if they could just take the other candidates and add them up. And if you could add them up, because, you know, the other candidates amount to 55 percent. So if they could just add, they keep forgetting that when people drop out, we're going to get a lot of votes. We love you. We love you. Well, now we look ahead to Super Tuesday. Of course, 12 states are going. We'll see if anyone can keep up. And if you have any indication about the supporters just inside of Treasure Island earlier tonight, it was a packed crowd of people coming down the stairs and the elevators and out into the casino floor. A lot of momentum Donald Trump is building, and he's going to be playing on that. He's hoping going into Super Tuesday now just a week away, Dave and Paula. Thanks, Patrick. Well, Florida Senator Marco Rubio feeling pretty good about his mm -hmm. second place finish with Nevada voters. His campaign addressed supporters at a Las Vegas rally not long ago. Mauricio Marine joins us live from Charleston and Wallapai with that story. Mauricio. Well, good evening. Although Donald Trump won Nevada caucus tonight, Rubio's team still calling tonight a success. Now, Marco Rubio wasn't here tonight, but he's already gearing up and his team for Super Tuesday one week from tonight. A packed restaurant of Marco Rubio supporters watched on as Trump gave his victory speech. Even though Rubio didn't take number one in Nevada, they are still celebrating the delegates Rubio did take in. A lot of people have called the close race between Rubio and Ted Cruz the fight for anti-Trump votes. Tonight, Rubio's team telling us it's not so much an anti-Trump vote, but a pro-American vote to help unite America and continue to be a world power. Senator Rubio's Nevada campaign chairman tells us tonight's outcome helps keep Rubio as a strong candidate despite coming in second. The great thing that happened tonight is that Nevada has now made very clear that the voters have two choices, Donald Trump and Marco Rubio, and I think we ought to let them go head to head, and the other candidates ought to recognize that and uh, let the uh, Republican voters decide who the nominee is going to be. Now, we asked why Senator Rubio left Nevada before results came out. His staff told us he's gearing up for Super Tuesday, but spent several days in Nevada before taking off. Nevada Democrats sent out an email poking fun of Rubio's number two spot, saying he spent a whole lot of money and still didn't come in number one in Nevada, where Rubio has worked hard to demonstrate his local ties with the state. Now, Rubio's campaign staff, we asked them about that jab from Democrats tonight. They say that they're targeting Rubio and not other Republican candidates because they say that he is a threat to the Democrats. Reporting live, Mauricio Marin, 8 News Now. Thanks, Mauricio. Let's go over to our panel, Steve Sebelius and our analysts. Thanks, Paula. Uh, uh, let's, uh, let me welcome uh, back to the show uh, Fernando Romero. He's the president of Hispanics and Politics. Amy Tarkanian, she's the former uh, chairwoman of the Nevada State Republican Party. Glad you're not chairman tonight, probably. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, Alan Stock, king of talk radio at KXNT. Um, let's start with that question. Was tonight a success for Rubio? I know, uh, Fernando, you, you uh, support Rubio, you caucus for Rubio. He came in second. Is it really a success? Well, well second against Trump is not bad. And, and, <laughs> and the, the surprising thing, though, is that uh, the numbers were not higher. But nonetheless, uh, I, I think most of us were hoping for first. But um, most people would, uh, would settle for the second spot. And he did just that. And, and, and he did it, I think, pretty good against uh, Ted Cruz had been hammering him the entire you know, two, two weeks. In fact, 
since the whole campaign has been hammering, but I'm talking about here in Nevada. And he did, I think he did it very well. Now, I don't know how he did among Hispanics, you know, we'll have to find out, but um, you know, I, I'm pleased. He, uh, now certainly Ted Cruz coming in th third place, a couple of points behind Rubio, uh, he, he obviously wanted to do better, but I mean, eventually, uh, uh, Ted Cruz pointed out in his, uh, uh, I guess, victory speech, we'll call it, um, that, uh, that he has won a, a uh, primary, uh, that uh, Donald Trump has won. Uh, Rubio hasn't won one yet. Uh, is this a victory for him or no? Well, it, he's at second place, but still, he's ahead of Cruz. So, you know, right now, it's, it's a three-person race for all intents and purposes. You've got Trump, Cruz, uh, Cruz and Rubio. Uh, after uh, the, a week from tonight, when we have the, uh, the Super Tuesday, it's going to probably come down to a, uh, maybe a two-person race, depending on how Cruz does in Texas. If Cruz can't take his own state of Texas, then it's going to definitely be between uh, Trump and Rubio, and it's going to be the establishment along with Rubio trying to knock Trump off, the, the king of the hill, off the, his throne. Yeah. And it's going to be a tough one. And, and I'm told that uh, Cruz is not that far uh, behind Rubio in Nevada. So um, now, uh, now, Amy, I know that, uh, that you're a John Kasich supporter, so mm -hmm. you probably don't like to hear it's a three-person race. You still think it's a five-person race, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I am I mean, in that this. That three percent is, is you. That was you. Hey, you're, you know what? Your vote counted. And I actually convinced some people to, she, to she vote for John She actually Kasich. conquered. I, I got to yeah. caucus a little bit. Our, our location actually started started late unfortunately our the volunteers there did a tremendous job so we actually didn't get to do, uh, do a full conversation or a full caucus if you, you will could've. but i convinced a you couple folks probably if you give them more time maybe I the know. whole the whole person so uh governor brian sandoval uh, uh did an interesting thing today he turned out to caucus uh, uh like fernando for marco rubio but he th he stressed that this was not an endorsement of marco rubio even though he cast mm. his vote for Marco Rubio. <laughs> it, it, can, can you do that? Is that a thing? Well, he's trying to have it, you know, have his cake and eat it, too. He's trying to have it both ways. I'm going to caucus for him, but I'm not going to endorse him. Well, what do you think it was if you're caucusing for him? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Governor, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he said, he's the one who said, look, I'm looking for somebody with executive experience. Uh, and, uh, and well, that would be Governor Kasich. That, that's the only person left right. with executive experience. Exactly. He has, he has uh, legislative experience. He also has federal experience. He was also a member of the House for 18 years. He's the only one who has actually balanced a budget. Marco Rubio can't say that. No. Well, Marco was speaker uh, in in Florida. He, he's a city councilman. Uh, but that's still legislative senator. positions. Those right. aren't executive positions. But he was not. He's a leader. I mean, well, isn't an executive a leader? Well, that's, that's what the media would like you to think. Uh, uh -huh. They're doing a very good job portraying him as the media darling. Which well, is not I'm not media, but I, I know you don't like Trump, but I'm wondering what would happen if Trump gets the nomination and picks Rubio as his VP. How how how, how would that fare? I, I, I think he's looking to set up Peyton uh, instead of Rubio. Oh. <laughs> oh. Lord. You, you know. Not your that, but. I, it, uh, Speechless. It, it may not, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised because nothing, uh, nothing surprises me. But uh, listen, we'll have more with our panel. But right now, let's uh, go back to uh, Dave and uh, Paula for uh, more uh, results and election coverage. Right, thanks, Steve. Were they blaming the media? I think they were. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, thought I, I heard like that, that there. <laughs> Votes are still rolling in, though. <laughs> we'll check in with Paul Johnson at the Republican election headquarters right after this. It's a getaway giveaway from ABC Hyundai. Bring us your best offer from any other Hyundai dealer, and we'll beat it. Plus, purchase or lease a new Hyundai and travel for two anywhere in the U.S. is included. And that's no bull. Buying a car is as easy as ABC People are braving this. Tomorrow on 8 News Now at 11. Remember this? No problem inviting federal agency. State officials downplaying asbestos blowing in the valley. Now, months later. I just don't see any, any evidence that they ever took this seriously. Their job is to protect us. The I-Team's George Knapp exposes how the state may be misleading the public. And if we're any closer to fighting the effects of this invisible poison near our homes. Tomorrow on 8 News Now at 11. 8 News Now and our Community Pride partners proudly support Engage. Engage honors CCSD high school heroes for their community involvement. Students register and they track their volunteer hours with United Way. Students with 100 or more volunteer hours by April 1st will be honored in conjunction with CCSD's School Community Partnership Program and the Fashion Show. 
Brought to you by our community pride partners, NB Energy, Finley Automotive Group, the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, and Southwest Medical Associates. Jump into your share of $2 million with Station Casino's Leap Into Winning Game. Play every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to let the frogs out and win guaranteed prizes. Your frog can win you up to 10 grand in cash, free slot play, and more. Everyone wins. And swipe for 10 free entries every day for our Leap and Lily Pads drawings. You could win guaranteed cash or a shot at $100,000. Hop to it and play the $2 million Leap and a Winning Game at all station casinos and fiestas. It's a getaway giveaway from ABC Hyundai. Bring us your best offer from any other Hyundai dealer and we'll beat it. Plus, purchase or lease a new Hyundai and a four-night Carnival Cruise getaway is included. And that's no bull. Buying a car is as easy as ABC. Well, the uh, precinct balloting is a uh, problem, so thing of the past. Uh, tonight, mm -hmm. things went pretty smoothly. Now, 30% of the precincts are reporting in, and it looks like Donald Trump has about a 42% uh, share of the vote. Marco Rubio with 24%, and Ted Cruz, 23%. Uh, the last two to bring up the rear, uh, Ben Carson and John Kasich. That's the way it stands right now. And the votes are still being counted. That's right. Let's check in with Paul Johnson at election headquarters. Paul. The big story here is that gap between Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz is narrowing. It was once four-point margin. Rubio had a four-point lead over Cruz. Now it is down. I'm told uh, the difference is, uh, is a 200-vote margin. Uh, 150 to 200 vote margin. Also, uh, Donald Trump's impressive uh, 46 percentage uh, point uh, uh, lead, uh, now down to 42 percent of the vote. Drilling down into the, uh, the, the specific counties, Clark County with 16 percent of the precincts reporting. Donald Trump had 51 percent of the vote, an eye popping 51 percent in Clark County. Rubio with 23, Cruz with 18 in Clark County. Up in Washoe County, where 35 percent of the precincts have re reported Trump had 45 percent of the vote, Rubio 26 percent, Cruz at 18 percent. So some interesting changes in the numbers here uh, in the last few minutes as uh, more of the precincts report in. Live at the uh, South Point, Paul Johnson, Jade News Now. Thank you, Paul. Say, what time do we expect 100 percent of the votes? That's a good question. I wish I knew the answer to that, but I think uh, to find that out, we're going to have to stay here till the wee hours of the morning. All right, Paul, you, you're good excused. Luck. You can come on back home. We'll, yeah. we'll worry about that for the morning crew. Thank you so much for your report there mm -hmm. live from uh, the South Point. Ben Carson also gave his speech earlier tonight. We'll be hearing about that next. Tomorrow morning, Nevada Republican voters made their voices heard in our state's caucus. We've got full coverage on which candidate came out on top in the Silver State. Noisy eight-wheelers keep you up at night and are tearing up the roads on the wrong route. I'm working to get them back on the right path so they don't drive you crazy. Plus, they don't see homeless people as invisible people. They see them as real people who, who, who they want to help get back into the real world. A couple goes above and beyond to help the homeless, including allowing them to use their address. Coming up in Acts of Kindness. Tomorrow morning. There's a lot to stop and see this President's Day at Nissan. Reinvented capability, enhanced safety, and reimagined design. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. Choose the 2015 Altima with 0% financing for up to 72 months, or lease the 2015 Sentra just $129 per month. Get your new Nissan now. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. A killer could be in your home, threatening your family, and you wouldn't even know it. That killer is radon, an odorless, colorless, naturally occurring radioactive gas that's the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. But with a simple test, radon problems can be detected, fixed, and your family protected. Call, click, or stop by one of our offices in January for your free radon test kit. Radon is a health risk that's preventable, so test for it today. I consider it a privilege that people allow us into their home every morning. Steven spoke with the so if that means waking up in the middle of the night and shampooing my hair twice because I forgot I just did it, I'll do it. <laughs> I want to help people get their day started the right way and leave the house feeling more informed, more educated, more positive. 
I love that. That's what gets me most energized about my job. <laughs>
people are breathing this. Tomorrow on 8 News Now at 11. Remember uh, this? No problem inviting federal agency. State officials downplaying asbestos blowing in the valley. Now, months later. I just don't see any, any evidence that they ever took this seriously. Their job is to protect us. The I-Team's George Knapp exposes how the state may be misleading the public. And if we're any closer to finding the effects of this invisible poison near our homes. Tomorrow on 8 News, now at 11. Lowe's presents How to Put Your Foot in Your Mouth. Man, wish my yard looked like yours. Hey. The grass is always greener on the other side of the... Sorry. Now get 20% off Stay Green Fertilizer at Lowe's. Dad, meet Kyle. Kyle, meet... Sir. For you, it's sir. Instant approval is rare, but not at RC Willie, where you can get instant credit approval when you use our online credit application. Anybody in the state with a law license can accept a personal injury case, but that does not mean they know what they're doing. It takes a very specific set of skills and experience that can only be attained through years of hard work, training, and research to learn how to handle a case like this properly. Anybody can settle a case for a fraction of what it's worth, but it's that skill and experience that gets the right result. Hennis and Hate, dedicated to justice. Planet Nissan's month-end sales event is the time to save. Get no payments for 90 days and included registration. Plus 0% APR for 72 months available for well-qualified buyers. Over 20 banks are lending for this event. Only at Planet Nissan. Welcome back to your local election headquarters for our special edition of Politics Now. Let's go over to our panel for a summary of tonight's events. Thanks, Paul and Dave. Well, uh, you know, the CNN entrance poll going into tonight's uh, uh, caucusing uh, showed that most voters were either angry with the federal government and how it operates, or at the very least dissatisfied with the federal government and how it operates. So uh, the thinking was that that obviously has, has benefited uh, Donald Trump, but it, uh, not necessarily exclusively Trump, right? Because the other candidates have also talked about how the federal government isn't that, that, that great. Well, right, but don't forget, tr Trump also, they said, was going to have 39 to 40 percent. He's now got, what, 45 percent? Yeah, he is the one who has tapped into that anger and that upset with the government, and the rest of them have not, as, have not been able to, uh, to grasp it like, like, like he has. Again, he's got to the people's gut more than their head, and uh, it succeeded for him. It certainly did tonight in Nevada. Counting is still going on. I'm, I'm, I'm being told uh, late-breaking news. It looks like Cruz may have overcome uh, Marco Rubio may have wow. uh, mm. may have leapfrogged him. Uh, I was going to use uh, Coleridge's line from *Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner*, but uh, <laughs> but now that is no longer applicable. So forget that. Forget that literary reference. Um, is surprised? I am a little bit surprised. Yes, I, I actually at my precinct once again. I'll go back to my experience from tonight. Marco Rubio did very well um, up against Trump in my precinct, and Cruz was actually far behind. Yeah. So I, I'm a little surprised. Fernando, what no, do you think? No, I'm not surprised. I mean, that happened also in, uh, in New Hampshire. Uh, one would take the lead, then the other would take the lead, et cetera. And finally, uh, Rubio wound up uh, with the lead. So you think he's still, still holding out hope? Well, uh, the last I heard was 35% of the precinct. So they're still you know, leaping one another. I think eventually uh, Rubio will come out ahead. Whoever, whoever uh, uh, comes out uh, uh, number three, uh, is is uh, that that is not good for them, right? I mean, going forward. I, I think in the eyes of many, you're right. Uh, it would have to be obviously Trump and number two. That would be it. Hmm. Um, but I'm, let me just say it rapidly is that Marco is getting. Uh, he got Dean Heller, Senator Heller. He got the governor, although maybe not. <laughs> but uh, you know, he's beginning to get uh, these individuals who have been supporting Bush, and I feel that he and Bush. Uh, more or less uh, share the philosophies and will share the uh, mm. uh, I don't the know though there's there's pros and cons to those endorsements though because you also have like you mentioned people who who are angry and frustrated with the way the government is is been handling themselves and to have those type of endorsements from say a US senator or the governor right now doesn't bode well with a lot of folks they're sure. actually anti look looking ahead to uh, Super Tuesday if if uh, Ted Cruz has to win Texas, right? My, my theory is he must win Texas or he has to drop out. Is that true? You think, Absolutely. Yeah, if he can't take his own state uh, and he was a uh, 
way ahead of days ago. But if he can't take his own state, he should uh, pack it up. So Bernie has to win Vermont too, right? He's got to. Uh, uh, Bernie's got. Uh, he's got Vermont, and and listen, the only other state that he's ahead in. I, I looked at the polls uh, yesterday, and that's West Virginia, and that's because they've been growing pot in the back of the fields <laughs> over there, and I think they've been smoking it, and that's that's why Bernie's getting West Virginia and Vermont. Uh, aside from that, Bernie is, uh, you know, he's through. Cruz has got to win. Texas, do you th 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 to win? Do you guys disagree with that? Anybody disagree with that? No, I would agree with that. Okay, and and and, uh, and if Governor Kasich stays in to Ohio, that's um, March fifteenth, I think. Correct. If he uh, if he stays in, he's got to win Ohio too, right? Correct. I I would yes, I, I would have to lean towards yes. Okay. Absolutely. If he doesn't, he's through too. If he stays in that long. Yeah. Yeah, um, in the in the rurals, we saw uh, we saw Cruz coming in uh, number two, Rubio also coming in number two in some of these rural uh, uh, counties. Mm -hmm. But Donald Trump doesn't seem like a rural Nevada guy, mm -hmm. and yet he cleaned up. Well, I think he's yeah. tapped into emotions, like Alan mentioned earlier. It's it's emotions, and that's what he's writing. He's writing the emotional wave. Plain and simple, and people are just frustrated. It doesn't matter if you're in the rules or in the city; it doesn't matter. His son Donald Jr. said on my show that you know he is a blue-collar billionaire, and that's and that's how it is. No, I mean, and, he, and he's showing it. And, I mean, he, and he's showing it. He didn't even, he didn't even have to with put on a pair of cowboy <laughs> boots. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we'll send it back to Dave and Paula. Thank All right, you. thanks, folks. That does it for this special edition of Politics Now here on your local election headquarters. For updates all night long as the votes come in, go to LasVegasNow.com and be sure to watch 8 News Now this morning starting at 4 a.m. Yeah, it is Wednesday now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you here again later this evening. That's right. Thank you.